eight skills that will come in handy in any market. Did you know that 65% of people say that they want to change jobs? And guess what? The top reason isn't salary or location, it's the lack of skills to move up. If that fact just made you rethink your career growth, then you're in the right place. Because today, we're talking about the top eight skills that will come in handy in any market. So without wasting any time, let's get to our first skill, digital literacy. Now, we all know that most of Gen Z were practically born with a smartphone in their hands. They're the masters of emojis, the conquerors of TikTok, and the pioneers of the digital frontier. But would you believe that even in 2024, a surprising 17% of Americans are not digitally ready for utilizing digital tech for learning purposes? Imagine you're a small business owner. You've got a great product, but how do you reach your customers? In the old days, you might have relied on a word of mouth or print advertising, but in today's digital world, you need to be where your customers are online. That's where the first skill comes in, because digitally literate means you can leverage social media platforms to engage with your customers. Use SEO techniques to make your website more visible and analyze online data to make informed business decisions. For example, by understanding how to use Facebook's advertising tools, you can target ads to people in a specific age group, location, or those with certain interests. This can significantly increase your reach and conversion rates. Another skill that's valuable in any market is critical thinking. You know the ability to analyze information objectively and make reasoned judgments. Let's say you're a freelancer working on a project for a client. The client has given you a brief, but it's vague and you're not sure what they really want. You could just make assumptions and start working but that might lead to wasted effort and an unhappy client. Instead, you use your critical thinking skills. You start by analyzing the brief, identifying what information is missing, and formulating questions to fill in the gaps. You then evaluate the client's responses, looking for any inconsistencies or areas that need clarification. Finally, you make a reasoned judgment about what the client wants and how best to deliver it. This skill can even help you when dealing with problems and decision making. It allows you to evaluate different options, consider their potential impacts, and choose the most effective solution. Moving on, the third skill is emotional intelligence, often abbreviated as EI or EQ. It's the ability to understand, use, and manage your own emotions in positive ways to relieve stress, communicate effectively, empathize with others, overcome challenges, and diffuse conflict. Let's take the corporate world as an example. You're in a meeting, tensions are pretty high, and everyone's on edge. A team member makes a suggestion, but it's met with criticism. This is where emotional intelligence comes in. Instead of reacting defensively, you take a moment to understand the emotions at play. You empathize with your team member's disappointment and the critic's frustration. You manage your own emotions, staying calm and focused. Then you use these understandings to guide your response, diffusing the tension and steering the conversation back to a productive path. Emotional intelligence also plays a key role in a customer service. If a client is upset about a delay, an emotionally intelligent response would acknowledge their frustration, apologize for the inconvenience, and offer a solution. Next up, the fourth skill is coding. Believe it or not, today it has become a highly valuable skill. According to a report, employment in computer and IT occupations is projected to grow 13% from 2020 to 2030 faster than the average for all occupations. These jobs tend to pay well, with a median annual wage of $91,250, which is higher than the median annual wage for all occupations. Now, coding isn't just for tech jobs. 
Though, in many fields, having coding skills can give you an edge. Marketeers, who can analyze customer data. Journalists, who can create interactive stories. And scientists, who can crunch large data sets, will stand out in their respective fields. The best part is you can learn coding at any age, from any background. Websites like Code Academy and Free Code Camp offer free coding lessons. You can also take more advanced courses on platforms like Coursera and Udemy. Moving on, the fifth skill is having a basic understanding of Adobe Photoshop. Whether you're a graphic designer creating logos, a marketeer designing social media posts, or a business owner updating your website, Photoshop can help you make your vision a reality. Let's take an example. Let's say you're a freelancer offering web design services. With Photoshop, you can create custom graphics that make your client's website stand out. You can also use Photoshop to optimize images for the web, ensuring that they look great without slowing down the site. Interestingly, Photoshop skills can also be a great asset in the job market. According to a recent survey, Photoshop is one of the most in-demand software skills, with over 1.5 million job postings requiring or preferring Photoshop skills. There are plenty of online resources available to learn this skill. Even on YouTube, you will find courses and helpful material. The sixth skill is all about photography. And before you start commenting down, wait, photography is more than just pointing a camera and pressing a button. In today's digital age, high quality visuals are crucial. If you're a business owner, you need to showcase your products. If you're a blogger, you need to share your travels. Or even if you're a real estate agent selling homes, good photography can make a big difference. It can help attract customers and increase sales. According to a report, the demand for photographers is expected to grow by 4% from 2019 to 2029. And with the rise of digital media, photographers have more opportunities than ever to showcase their work and find clients. Photography is a skill that you can learn and improve over time. You can find online courses on Udemy and YouTube tutorials where you can learn everything from the basics of photography to advanced techniques. Next up, the seventh skill is writing, especially in the business world. Good writing skills can make a big difference, whether you're writing a proposal to win a new client, crafting a press release to announce a new product, or composing an email to your team. The ability to write clearly and persuasively is crucial. Let's say you're a freelancer pitching your services to a potential client. A well-written proposal can help you stand out from the competition. Showcase your professionalism and convince the client that you're the right person for the job. According to a survey, 73.4% of employers want a candidate with strong written communication skills. And it's not just jobs in writing or publishing. Industries like tech, healthcare, and finance also value good writing skills. You can even start a side hustle once you've got this skill. All right, moving on to the eighth skill, content editing. Everyone can correct grammar and spelling mistakes, but to learn the content editing skill, you have to make sure the content is clear, concise, and engaging. I mean, does it meet the criteria of the target audience? What about the brand tone? Let's take blogging as an example. You've written a great blog post, but before you hit publish, you need to edit it. This is where the content editing comes in. You check for clarity, making sure your ideas are well organized and easy to understand. You look for consciousness, removing any unnecessary words or phrases. You ensure the content is engaging, keeping your reader's attention from the first word to the last. Just like writing, content editing is also a valuable skill in the job market. According to the same report, the employment of editors is projected to increase by 6% from 2019 to 2029, and job prospects should be best for those with experience in editing, writing, and digital media. Well, that's it for today. So which of these skills do you already have? Which ones are you planning to learn? 
Do you have any other skills that you think are essential in today's market? Drop your comments below. Before you go, don't forget to check out our recent video on Crypto Craze. Is it worth it? Or a bubble waiting to burst? Make sure you hit that subscribe button and press the bell icon. Thanks for watching.